Hi, thank you guys it's here and welcome back to the video. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. At the end of the video, if you like the content, please hit that like button. Don't just let the video just go by. Hit the like button, also comment, and I'd love to read your comments as well. Today, I'm going to walk you through the Asus ROG Gaming headset. Let's get to the video, come on. All right, so I picked up the Asus ROG Gaming headset for $179. And like I said, I will throw a link up in the description below. So if you are looking to get a gaming headset, I think you might find this interesting. Um, what type of person are you? Do you like playing games that are sport games? Do you like first person shooters? Do you like uh, racing games? What type of game do you play? Or do you play adventure games as well? Um, I feel like this headset is not for everyone. It's for a specific type of gamer. Gamers that play first person shooter games at a high competitive level. This headset stacks up to headphones like the Toto Beaches, like the Sony headsets and other gaming headsets as well. I don't know what you use, maybe Audio Technica, I don't care. Sennheiser, um, they have different headsets out there. But this Asus ROG headset really uh, packs a punch when it comes to that feedback as far as first person gaming is concerned. So why did I select the Asus ROG gaming headphone? First off, I just wanted to get something that was entirely different. I use the Nora phone right now for my PlayStation 5 and I also sometimes use my Apple wired headphones with the uh, game as well just to enjoy the game but when I want to play that first person shooter game my neural sound is not really built for first person shooter gaming it was just a music bluetooth headset that happened to just be around now that I have the PS5 and I'm looking for something to my to play games with and I'll also enjoy as well so I have rich bass I have 7.1 surround but when it comes to feedback it doesn't give me enough feedback when it comes to that gaming, when it comes to gaming footstep and actually knowing what's going on in your environment is kind of really key when playing first person shooters. So I decided to pick up the ASUS ROG headset. So right out the box, you are greeted with this really nice packaging, cool feature. The package just look really good overall. When you open the box, you can see that greeting card from ASUS letting you know, oh, welcome to the ROG gaming public and you just feel like that mm, you feel good getting something that is really nice so what does this headphone have as far as features it has noise cancelling as a matter of fact uh, asus boasts of noise cancelling i think up to 50 million uh sounds that this headphone you know has noise cancelling on also if you look at the design of the headset i think it's called ergonomic design and what that means is it's designed in kind of like a d-shaped cup so you don't feel that extra you know uh looseness when using this headset or discomfort when you're using it you feel really good when you use it as far as the strength goes it is really strong uh, stretching it out stretched it out uh really try to see how strong it is it's not something that you can just use and snap and break it whenever you feel like it it's actually really uh strong and durable so when you're using it if you rage quit you just get up from the rage quit smash the headset down you'll be fine it's not going to break you'll be really fine because i tried stretching it out just to see how strong it is and trust me uh, it is very strong. One other feature that it has is it has customizable RGB. So if you have an ASUS laptop, you can sync it up with your ASUS Armory Crate. Those with ASUS laptops know what I'm talking about. And you can sync up the Aura with the RGB and sync everything together. So your keyboard lights up, your keyboard R uh, RGB, and your headset RGB just synchronizes at the same time. Another feature it has is it has another really nice feature that I found really funny is you can put it on uh, a custom RGB that when you talk the RGB kind of lights up as you speak so you get to see this I'm talking right here in this clip and you can see the RGB following my voice lighting up as I'm talking and when you yell from time to time you will notice that the uh, lights actually get brighter dimmer 
like it's just really uh, crazy and it feels really nice so playing games on it i tried playing first person shooters like call of duty cold war and i have to say that that feedback was really crystal clear i could pinpoint accurately where my enemies were coming from i could uh pinpoint the distance of a gunshot and know exactly where to go or where not to go and my environment at large as a matter of fact the feedback was so much that it felt kind of overwhelming at some point because i hear this different feedback especially when you're playing hardcore team deathmatch kind of gameplay where there are no maps and you could accidentally kill your teammates and people running around you you pretty much have this kind of paranoia because every little footstep you hear you you kind of want to check it out and that's the feeling that i had with this headset that's just how much feedback you get and the whole environment you feel every little thing you can you know hear someone reloading and you hear that actual uh reload sound from the headset like it's just really beautiful when i played games on this headset overall now the feedback uh, uh thing i think you will get that from other uh gaming headphones like total beach uh, as well but this asus gaming headphone kind of is right up there with them so i don't know what you are using right now currently or what you have been trying to get but i think you should consider getting this asus rog uh, headphone right in front of you because i think you will find it really really nice and you will enjoy it as well if you are a regular gamer you might not need to get this i think i'm talking to a specific group of people who are into first person gaming and competitive shooter games i think those are the people that i'm talking to uh, you have extra foams extra foam padding in case you want to change the padding of the headset you have that extra padding um, as well it comes with that and it comes with a converter that converts the uh, that you can uh, plug in your USB-C and also have it uh, pass through regular USB but I have to say the downside to that is the sound is really shitty so the best thing to do is just plug it in straight USB-C now one other drawback one drawback that I had with this headset is the fact that it's not Bluetooth I think if it was wireless I think it'll take it from an A to an A plus so Bluetooth that is not featured in this headset as uh, it is kind of stepped it down from A plus to A but every other thing about it is nice but the Bluetooth feature I found myself kind of um having to sit a little bit close to my screen because I play my game on a 49 inch uh, screen and I don't really like staying too close to the TV now the problem is because of the length of the cable if the cable was longer like really long i think that or the fact that if it was a 3.5 mm cable that will make a lot of sense because i can buy an auxiliary cable and actually have it extended in length but the thing is it's not a 3.5 mm cable it's just your regular type c uh, usb cable and that of itself gives you that technological drawback as far as distance goes so you have to sit really close and with the ps5 you can only connect it to the usb-c in front of the console if you connect it to the uh regular usb the audio is shitty and then uh if you connect it to the usb 3.0 port behind you get good audio but because it's at the back it shortens the distance for you so uh, it's a little bit uncomfortable there that is the only thing about this headset that i really didn't particularly like but every other thing about it was really right up there i love that customizable rgb i love the noise cancellation feature i love how light and comfortable it is it feels really good when using it so you can play games long sessions playing games two three hour sessions playing games and you still don't feel like there's anything weight really on your ears lots of headset really get it wrong when it comes to weight so you play games for two three hours you start to have ear pain ear discomfort ear sweat uh your ears just go really <laughs> get really tired and fatigued and you just want to take the headset off and throw it away but this headset really gives you that comfort 
right now, I have to say right now, I myself am kind of like challenged when it comes to headsets right now. My ear has been ringing for a while now. And uh, the volume of the headset, I have to say, I really liked the fact that even when I brought it down to the minimal, I still was able to pinpoint accurately footsteps around me and my environment. I, I was able to really just understand what's going on. I wasn't uh, deprived of any sound at all. And Call of Duty is a game that can really, really deprive your sound, really, because of all that extra SFX noise and all the ambience noise. It, it just has lots of noise going on in the game. So you can really be deprived of sound playing Call of Duty. A lot of top players are complaining about sound when it comes to Call of Duty. But this headset, to my greatest surprise, the volume down because of my ear problems right now, I still didn't have any, uh, you know, complain about it. I still enjoyed playing games on it. So that's all I have to say about it. It's overall, I give it an A. I wish it had Bluetooth. It would have been perfect, but because it doesn't, yeah, who knows? It's probably for, if you are a PC gamer, it's probably best for PC. So you sit down, you're close to your laptop, you plug it in and you enjoy it. But if you're playing on console, I have to say uh, that Bluetooth feature that is not available or at least the 3.5 nm cable so you can have an aux cable and have it stretched out as long as you want it to you can buy a long aux cable um that would have been really beautiful but other than that uh, every other thing about this headset is top notch so anyway guys that's what i have to say for you guys today uh thank you guys for reaching this point of the video and also if you are gotten here please i would like you to subscribe i would love you to hit the like button also i would like you to comment and tell me if you have any other headsets in mind you want me to review let me know i will go get it bro so thank you guys for watching the video make sure you subscribe and i will catch you guys in my next video peace